Greetings and welcome to your reading of the new moon in Sagittarius. I pulled some cards for the new moon and I just want to share with you the messages that came through. So, new moon in Sagittarius, of course we know it's about luck. It's about fortune being on your side. It's about uh, possibilities. Um definitely about um, the culmination of a year, right? The culmination of everything that you've done this past year and then kind of looking ahead of what you're going to do for the next year. So I think Sagittarius always brings us that because it's at the end of the year. Um, luck is on your side. Whatever is coming your way, is it looks set to put a smile on your face. <laughs> Perfect. That's what we all need right now. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of fun after a period of feeling low, right? Um, I think it's important that I think all of us are experiencing highs and lows right now um, due to our current climate just in the world in general. So right now, I guess, is a time where they're saying, hey, look, get out there and have some fun because... You suffered enough. You know, we've been in enough. We've been apart from each other. And this is a time to come together and celebrate and enjoy your family and friends. So, this card is about exploring your life metaphorically and by exchanging big ideas with others or just by thinking about your own philosophies, right? Um, this is a time where you can start to change your mind about things that you may have made decisions about in the recent past or even in, you know, further back, you know what I'm saying? You can take time to look at those decisions you made and refine them, you know, um, and go in a different direction, maybe a life-changing direction, you know? Um, so the attunement to this moon is to count your blessings, right? Literally write them down and say them aloud. Sagittarius is a sign of fun, travel, exploration, and the great cosmic quest. Who am I? Where Where am I going? <laughs> what will I be? You know, those type of questions. I remember having those questions. I even wrote a whole book on it. about. It's called Soul Journey. And it was just about who am I? Where am I going with this? You know what I'm saying? Why am I here? <laughs> so at some point in life, you got to ask those questions. Um, the energy is expansive, it's upbeat, it's lucky and divine. The new moon in Sagittarius exudes all of this, as does this card whenever you draw it. Nothing is set in stone with Sagittarius, so it's an optimistic energy. So take advantage of that, ride that wave. So then we have, of course, new moon eclipse, but I'm going to come back on that one in a whole other reading. I just wanted to have it there to activate you because it's so beautiful. All right, so then I went to the Goddess Guidance Oracle, and I two cards, they just came flying out. The first one was High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through spiritual teaching. And then we have Freya, bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. Now, the reason why I placed these cards right under here is because this one, this card, is confirmation of this card. And this card is confirmation of this card. This one is about change, about taking, that things are going to change soon. Don't worry, take risks, be bold. And then this one popped out. And this one, the high priestess is on your side. Of course, we all know when she steps through, there's nothing but divine guidance. There's nothing, not luck, but there's abundance, you know. Cause she comes through with the with the rules. <laughs> she comes through to guide you to bring you clarity. You know what I'm saying through this phase. So let's read about her, Donna. She says, "Your wisdom extends back into the far reaches of ancient times. You've brought this knowledge forward into your present incarnation to be a way shower, so that others may benefit from your experiences. Don't delay in expressing this wisdom." And then, you know, you can, she will help you manifest platforms for your spiritual teaching, um, writing, or speaking. This is right on time for me because I'm about to come out with a book next year. It's called Happy Light Being. Um, I've been doing a lot of writing, 
I'm going to do my own cards. Um, in January, I'm going to start relationship oracle, you know, pulls. Um, and I'll talk more about that in that video because I've kind of got a download of kind of like a direction that I can move in to kind of help people. So, um, so the various meanings of this card is lead workshops, write books or articles, look for opportunities to teach, be a role model of peace and honor your div divinity. Know that you are a leader. A lot of times we're always looking for somebody to follow, but we're leaders. Be bold in that, right? That's what Freya would say, <laughs> right? Freya is like, hey, be bold, be brave, take those risks. She says, don't play it safe right now. Instead, take bold action in the direction of your true heart's desire, which is the best time to do that right now at, this, at these solar eclipses and moons that we're having at the end of the year. Step into your power. I think that's the name of this read, Step Into Your Power. Well, be ready to receive your power, you know. Always be, be prepared. Mm, that's a good one, too. <laughs> Hold clear intentions of success, and it shall come about. Enjoy the excitement of taking risks and being bold and being daring, right? That's what it means. Make a bold life change, right? Um, appreciate your body, flirt, go have fun, and celebrate, Okay? That's what we were told again here. So all of these cards are confirmation of each other. And I like the messages that they bring because they're telling us that we can come out of our shell now. We can come back together now. We can think. We can have our big ideas. And that the universe is definitely on our corner working with us as usual. We just It's just telling us out loud now. Like we should know this already, I guess. So that's the guidance. Guidance from the goddesses. Then I pulled an energy oracle just to get the energy of this, you know, new moon. And it said, daughter, personal healing and happiness. Look at this. Look at that beautiful rainbow. 34, number seven. New beginnings in your personal life. This card is a harbinger of per positive change. The beautiful light-filled door opens into a lush rainbow lit spring filled with vibrant lotus flowers. Whether you're working on some inner healing, such as breaking an addiction, or looking to make external changes, such as finding a new place to live, this card signals that your life is opening up to new opportunities, is opening up and new opportunities are about to appear. The changes you've been working on are ready to blossom with wonderful results, so make sure you see your personal intentions through with continued action and optimistic expectations. I don't normally read reversals because it's really just the opposite of what I just said, which sometimes we need to hear that, right? We need to hear we're, what we need to work on in order to get to this door to personal happiness, right? So the affirmation for this is I am strong, focused, and self-directed. I have the power to create wonderful new realities in my life. Sorry, guys, about the noise. Um, all right. So it's time to step into, like all of this is telling us it's time to move forward. Like we can propel forward. Now we've been stuck, 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 stuck. Now we can move forward, you know? So I think the fears, the slowness of the uh, retrogrades, we have a pocket. <laughs> we have a, a small pocket where we can move forward and the universe is pushing us there so that we can work you know, so that we can work on ourselves, but not only that, look at ourselves and how we want to be seen for the rest of our lives at this time. That's the way I'm feeling anyway. I'm feeling like, okay, you've been mama niece uh, all these different uh, parts of yourself. It's time to integrate the full me <laughs> and then move forward with my life as who I am as who I really am, not as what people expect me to be or look like. You know what I'm saying? It's like time to live, like really live. <laughs> so anyway, I like the way these moons are eclipsed. Isn't that something? So the new moon affirmation from our moon magic deck. I'm not going to write any of this in the description. That's why I got the, the decks out here. You can see I give credit to the people. And you can see, I'm not writing all this in the description. It's a lot. 
Here's your December new moon affirmation. I will persist. My will is strong. That's all this is saying. That's all this reading is saying. Be strong. Persist. You know, keep moving. Don't slow down. You know, sometimes you got to slow down. But don't slow down in your thinking of moving ahead. Like, hold on to that. Because a lot of times, you know, obstacles will come. And you'll have challenges and you'll have to deal with that. And it's not easy, you know. But remember, you have family. That's the time. That's the time you got to remember we got family. We got friends. We got people we can depend upon. Um, yes, go within. Yes, take time to be by yourself. Yes, take time to think, you know. But also remember, you have a, you know, build a support system. Build a support system of people, you know, relationships. That's why I think it's important for me to start talking about that, especially as my act. You know, um, and as that being right now, a central theme in my life, dealing with relationships with people in my life who I love, but you know, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for being here. Um, I don't want to make it too, too long because then it'll take forever to upload. So take time to do what makes your soul happy, right? Always do that. <laughs> Be happy, be light, be love. Please take time to like, share, subscribe, comment on this video. Invite others to like it. Share it, share it, share it. Because I'm trying to build up a nice little base of folks so that YouTube can open up some permissions for me. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful new moon in Sagittarius. Namaste.